quick one here on Amos 4.13. Amazing uh, prophetic verse uh, by Amos. He says, uh, words of God, He who forms the mountains, creates the wind, which is blowing here, and makes his thoughts known to mankind. He who turns dawn to darkness and treads on the heights, the Lord God Almighty is his name. Just picture this. He who forms the mountains and creates the winds, and in that same picture is, is describing the, the extraordinary of this creator making his thoughts known to you and to me in the same breath, in the same description, he who forms the mountains and creates the winds and makes his thoughts known to mankind. He who turns dawn to darkness. This is so poetic. We often think of turning uh, darkness to dawn. You know, there'll be weeping in the night, Psalm 126, 5, but joy comes in the morning. But this is so poetic. It's turning dawn into darkness because darkness is as light to God, Psalm 139, 12. Um, but just this powerful picture of the creator, the all-powerful, poetic creator who treads the heights. Uh, Isaiah uh, 7, 14, the virgin will be with child and give birth. God amongst us, Emmanuel. Isaiah 9, 6, to us a child is born. The Messiah, the fullness of the deity in bodily form. Colossians 2, 9. God walked with us as he did in the Garden of Eden. He walked with us in Jesus Christ and then poured out his spirit to be with us again. So here in Amos 4.13, we have the God who treads the heights, the Lord God Almighty. He treads the earth, Jesus Christ. I, I love in 1 Corinthians 10, it refers to the, the Israelites in the wilderness drinking from the spiritual rock. That was Christ. It's always been Christ from him and through him. Without him, nothing exists that does exist. It says in, in John 1, 1 to 5, and Colossians 1, 15 to 20, a powerful passage that all things have been created by him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. This is Christ. He treads the heights, forms the mountains, creates the wind, turns dawn to darkness, and then, of course, darkness to dawn, but he also makes his thoughts known to you. And this is the truth of what Jesus said. He who believes in me, streams of living water will flow from within him. John 7, 37, 38. Do streams of living water flow through you? They can. John 3, 8, Jesus said to Nicodemus, the Spirit, uh, he says, it's like the wind, it blows where it will. You hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it's going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. Jesus came to breathe the very life of God, the power of the mountain creator, of the wind blower, the power of this forgiveness and holiness and redemption back through your soul today. You can know the Spirit and the power of God through the forgiveness of God purchased by the very real drip and sacrifice and pain of his blood. Revelations 5, 9. This story of the gospel is just gorgeous. God bless you.